YouTube, what it is? It's your boy Diesel from Diesel TV. All right, man, we are here with another reaction video. And today I'm going to be reacting to Citizen to Citizens gun collection, his pistol collection. He has two videos out. I'll probably do the rifle one later. Uh, but right now we're just gonna re react to his uh, pistol collection that he has. If you guys have not subscribed to Citizen to Citizen, you need to subscribe. It is Citizen to a Citizen. I will put his link in the description so you can subscribe to his channel. But today we are gonna go ahead and react to his pistol collection that he has going on, all right? Let's get it started. Today, we're gonna be talking about my pistol collection. <laughs> Ah, that well, laugh, stay tuned. Long time coming. That laugh. He must got some heat. That laugh, boy. Let's see what he got, man. Let's see what he got. I don't know if you guys know this yet, but uh, Citizen to Citizen is in North Carolina. He lives about uh, less than an hour from me. We were supposed to get up, man, uh, but we were talking about getting up before I got this position and everything, and I just got too busy to do anything. Man, I had so much stuff uh, scheduled before I got this position, but now I'm just too busy to do anything. I want to do meetups. I was I was actually working on a meetup at, a meet up at my range. We had the date set. Um, I had put the money down to uh, to keep the range free for the whole weekend, um, but then I got this, and I just I just had to get away from it. I couldn't do it. But Citizen Two Citizen is in North Carolina. I am going to meet up with him one day. One day I'm going to meet up with him. I don't know exactly when, but I am going to meet up with him one day. So let's get back to the video. You see that man got some money. Look at him. See he got some money. Let's see if we put that money in the right place. All right, so let's get started. I'm trying to make this a quick video. Um, so all of these pistols are in order of when I got them, right? Uh, first one, it's gonna be my Glock 17. Uh, clearly it did not, I didn't get it like this. I've done several upgrades, um, to this. You get your stainless steel barrel, crimson trace, uh, light, which needs a battery, um, extended mag release. The trigger work is all internal, not external. I kept the factory trigger, but I changed uh, a couple of components inside to some polishing work, as you can see, on um, not just the pins, but the bar, change out the spring. I got the uh, Holosan 507 suppressor height sights, a little, uh, if you can see that. I don't think you see the dot, but hey. Anyway, 17 round mag. I do have the plus twos on the other mags. This is loaded, but let's go ahead and clear it. So you're, you're good on that. All right. All right, so that Glock right there, I, I, I can tell it was one of his first purchases. I don't know how long ago he's, I don't know how long he's been collecting, all right? Um, first thing is, is that I'm not really feeling that Glock. Um, I don't know what it is. I know I don't like that Crimson Trace light. I don't like the Crimson Trace light. I've tried them. I just do not like the way they are. Um, they, they, the, they feel a little cheapish. Um, that being your first gun, I have that 507, that Hollow Sun 507. I don't like mine on mine. Now, listen. It's not the fact that I don't like the gun. It's just, I don't like Gucci Glocks. I, I do not like Gucci Glocks. I've tried to do one and I just don't like them. Glocks are not a Gucci gun. 
um, I feel like a Sig is more of a Gucci gun than a Glock is just because of the way it's made. So I just, I do not like Gucci Glocks. I've put in, uh, I have put um, uh, threaded barrels on my Glocks, but I've never got them, like, I never got the slide redone or anything like that on my Glocks or anything like that because I just don't like the way Glocks look when they're Gucci or aftermarket stuff. I, don't, I just don't like the way they look. Nothing about his gun or anything like that to the fact of he did something wrong. Personally, I just don't like the way Glocks look when they've been Gucci. I just, I just not feeling that, man. I like a out of the box Glock. You know, if it's an MOS, you put a sight on it. Um, I, I lean toward Hollow Sun, and I, I'm going to do a video on this. That matter of fact, after I do this video, I am going to make a video on um, the red dots and stuff like that because I had to change up my EDC. Um, but I, I will do a video that that's the video that I'm supposed to be making now instead of this one. I just forgot about it until just right now. But anyway, that, um, that Gucci Glock, I just, I'm not feeling really the Gucci Glocks. Mixed and this up. video right here is 17 minutes. So I, this, this video that I'm making, my reaction video, probably gonna be somewhere around a 25, 30 minute video. Okay. Glock 19. Let's clear that. It's clear, clear. This is uh, one of my concealed carry. I've done no trigger work to this because it's a concealed carry. Although I do have some others that I concealed carry that I've done trigger work to, but it's your Glock 19, 15 in the mag. Again, I've got uh, plus two base pads on, on all of the uh, old Glocks. All of them. All right, now I'm feeling that Glock. I really do like that Glock 19. Now, only thing I will say is, if that is his, if that's your concealed carry, I would kind of change that light. Um, the O light, they make another light called the Valkyrie, I think it is. Um, it's a little bit easier to activate that light on that that O light instead of the one that you have on the Mini, the O light Mini. I've got the O light Mini on one of my Canics. And I've got I got every single weapon like that Olight makes. I got every single one of them, um, even the ones they make for the rifles, the Odin. I got all the Odins. I got every single so, and I've got multiple of them. So I know about a little bit about Olight. When it comes to that light right there, let's go back. Uh, let's go back. Hold on, that's too far. I'm sorry. Let's go back. That Olight right there. Activating that switch on that light takes a little bit of training. And the reason why I personally would train would, would switch is because I'm used to carrying a Surefire TRL TLR one, you know what I'm saying, is, is usually what I carry on mine. So anything that is similar to that is what I want to carry. Olight makes one that is similar, and I can't remember exactly which one it was. I'm not going to go into finding out, but they just make one that is more similar to that one that TLR than that that Olight mini Valkyrie right there is. All right, so one let's of, go back to the next gun. Oop, let, let, again, let, <laughs> I've got uh plus two base pads on on all of the uh all of the Glocks. All of my pistols really. Um, next one, my Glock 26. Also clear. So pretty much he's got every double stack nine millimeter Glock, uh, early gen nine millimeter Glock. Now they make the 45 and all that stuff, but he's got early gen Glocks. He's got the 19, he got the, the 17, the 19, the 26. And I want to say that is all the nine millimeter early gen Glocks. <laughs> Not sure why I got this last since I was, well, not last, but I should have got this first since I was concealed carrying. Hold 10 plus 2. I also have 30 round sticks for all my Glocks, so I've got about four of them. Good God. Uh, I'll do that. Let me tell you the only reason I have 30 round magazines for in that will fit any of my Glock is because I have a Chris Vector. That is the only reason. I have never bought a 30 round magazine for any of my handguns. I won't do it. I'm not doing it. It's just not, 
it is it is not it is it is there's not it's not it's, there's no reason to have that only reason i bought a 30 round magazine is like i said it's for my chris vector it's 45 so i'm pretty sure i don't even have a nine millimeter 30 round magazine unless i have an ar pistol that shoots glock magazines and i believe i do but i'm not sure uh but that's the only reason i will have a 30 round magazine it's not for my handgun it's for my actual uh P pcc this is not a glock uh video but it, <laughs> this is how i bought them in in this order glock 34 great gun competition Glock 34 is a great gun i mean you got your lightning cut right here he's got another Crim crimson trace on there I don't like that Crimson Trace light. Just, just let you guys know, I don't. I've had two of them. I didn't have no good experience. I was supposed to do a video on them, but I was going to talk so much trash about it, I decided not to do it. I just don't like that light. Lightens the slide. Uh, Crimson Trace. Uh, these were on sale, so I just got them. Uh, polish pins. This one does have some trigger work done to it as well. Uh, because it's for competition, not for carry. You'll see we have the polish extractor. I've got Trigicon uh, HDRs on this one. Uh, I, think, uh, I think these are Trigicon. Yeah, these are Trigicon too. It's on the 17, the suppressor height sights. Those are Trigicon as well. Um, uh, 17 plus two, so I'm at 19 with this. Clear. Now this is what I will say about this gun. He said this is a competition gun, and and for a beginner, I would say that's an okay competition gun, but you can do better. Uh, if he's saying if citizen to citizen, um, and me and him rock, me and him are good. I ain't talking junk about him. I know him. I've talked to him out outside of this video he commented and asked me to do a review on his video his gun collection video so that's why i'm doing it but we've we've chatted back and forth on other video videos and stuff and i rock with citizens to citizen what i'm saying is is if if he's a gun collector and he's saying that is his competition gun i think he is still in the beginning stages of gun collection and the reason why i say that is because he could have got a better competition gun or he might not be in competition now you guys know i've preached this a couple times before i've won five years in a row uh in north carolina i've won five in a, years in a row with an out of the box glock 21 45 caliber glock 21 straight out the box no work done to it no special sights actually um, I don't even think it had night sights on it because it was a day competition. I didn't need night sights, but I don't even think it had night sights on it. It was just regular, straight out the box. I don't think anything was done to it. If there was, it might have been different sights, some night sights or something like that, if they, those were on there. But I won five years in a row with that gun, first place. So it's not about now. This I will say this. It was a competition with only law enforcement only. So it wasn't like I had professionals in that competition or anything like that. Let me caveat to that. It was not a pro competition. It was just a law enforcement competition. So anyways, moving on. If he's trying to get into some competition, I would not say that the Glock was not a good gun. Um, I don't know what kind of trigger work he got done to it, but you can find other guns in the same um, category of price and, and, and do better than a Glock is all I'm saying. And got introduced to Canic. Beautiful. My point exactly. This right here is a cheaper gun. And it shoots way better than that Glock. The trigger out the box is way better, better than that Glock. And this is a good competition gun. I think this is the... Beautiful. Hold on, let's see. Uh, what S -S 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 firearm shoots extremely well. Get your fiber optic front sight. Um, this one, you don't have the back sights, but you know, I keep the Viper on here, Vortex Viper uh, on here. No trigger work at all done on this, none really needed. Right. 17 round mag, I'm sorry, 18. 
you can see that 18 round mag. Uh, but I do have base pads on this, Taylor Freelance base pads on the uh, 18. So that gives me plus two, 20 rounds. All right, so that, that, that's prime example right there. That Canik is cheaper than the Glock, and I've seen a lot of people using that Canik for competition. So that Canik is one that you can use for a competition. I've seen it a lot. It does very good. I've shot a bunch of Canics. I got a bunch of Canics. So you can, I mean, it's just one of those things. One thing I would say about that Canik is get rid of that Viper, um, that 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 red dot. That Viper red dot, and the reason why I get away from the Viper red dot is because it is a little bit cheaper and the longevity lifespan of it is not as good as the Hollow Sun. But on the Hollow Sun, if you see on the back of the Hollow Sun, let me go back and see if I can find it. Um, right here. Well, you can't see it because it has the it has the the um, suppressor height sights on it. But on the back of that Viper, um, there is there are no notches for the actual sight because you have the the um, the windage and all that stuff for it, for the red dot sight in the red dot. Right. I'm trying to get my words together, guys. Just bear with me. On the back of the Hollow Sun. There is, there are notches for actual sights. So if you don't want to do suppressor height sights or you can't do suppressor height sights, like on the Canik, you can't do suppressor height sights, there is a notch for those. Um, so you would be able to see even without, even without rear sights, it still has notches so you can line up those sights. Now, will those sights be all the way on? No, but it's better than nothing. It's better than nothing. And I will say I own one of my guns. I can't remember which. Oh, actually, it is on my um, SIG P365. I have a hollow sun red dot on it. No rear sight. Um, but I can still I can still do it with the, that notch. Um, same thing with um, the Romeo sight, which I don't condone anybody getting the Romeo sight. Um and the reason why is because I've had two of them go out on me. Um, but on the rear of the Romeo site, it has a notch also. So you can still use that site without a rear site. Let's move on. Man. I don't want to make this that. video too long. So I'm getting on my, I'm getting on rants and I don't really don't want to make this video too, too long. All right. All right. Let's see uh, where we were. So that gives me plus two 20 round mags. Um, Sleeper. I don't know why the internet is not on this, or Gun Tube Nation is not on this. IWI Masada. I got this when it first came out. Um, I mean, just a phenomenal, phenomenal, phenomenal uh, carry gun. It's it's the same size as like a 17, it, uh, although it doesn't look it. Wait, let me see. 19. It's a 19, and then, don't mind the barrel length, but it's the same size as the 17, but it doesn't really look it. It might be like a quarter inch shorter, um, but. It is the same size, guys. As far as um, the trigger, clear, by the way. Uh, as far as the trigger, I mean, just a, look at that. Just an amazing trigger. I got. I, I mean, I just love. <laughs> I love that trigger. Anyway, um, I didn't do much to this. I just dropped the red dot on here. Another uh, Hollow Sun. This one's a 407C. Um, I'm crazy with that. All right. So on that Masada. Um, that Masada is a great weapon. Um, and I was going to get one, but there is a reason why I have not gotten one yet. And I will tell you, I will try to remember to tell you why at the end of the video. And the reason, there are certain reasons why I'm not buying certain guns now. Okay. And as you guys know, I have a, I have a pretty big gun collection. And part of that reason is, I'll tell you at the end of the video why there are certain guns that I'm not buying now and that I may not ever buy. And there's a, re there's a reason why that, okay? So let's move on. I don't want to get into that, but let's move on. Next one. 
uh, is the uh, Canic, no, the Canic. I mean, you can't go wrong with the Canic. That one went had one in the head. <laughs> Glad I cleared it. Um, uh, dropped the O line on there. Uh, so the, when this came out, um, they didn't have many red dot options, but uh, Sig had the Romeo. If you can see here, that texture matches the texture on here. The color scheme was great. Um, I'm particular about you know details, and I wanted a gray because I've never had a gray uh, firearm. So this is in tungsten gray. The trigger is amazing. Um, I mean, well, okay, let's not say amazing. A little bit of take up, more than I'm used to, but crisp, crisp reset. You see that? I will say this. Every single Canic I've shot, I have been impressed with their trigger. Every single Canic that I have shot, it reminds me so much of that Walther trigger. Every single one that I've shot has been a great trigger. Very crisp reset. Um, comes with like a, a, a comes with a 15 and a 13. Um, here's the 15, but you know I, I I took the 13s and I put Taylor Freelance uh, base pads on them um, to give me my my 15 on the other ones. War and tactical sights, forget about it. Everyday carry or one of my everyday carries. Very nice. Uh, Okay, so this is what I've noticed. The ones that he are carrying, he, the one, the guns that he is carrying, he has the same O-Light on, and that is very, very, very smart. Citizen to citizen, very smart. Um, he carries this one, is one of his everyday carries, and then that Glock 19, which has the same light on it, he carries, and that's the same thing I do. Everything that I carry has the similar light on it. Now, there is one gun that P365, I can't put a shirt, uh, TLR one on it. So I use a Surefire um, TLR-6, I think it is, that I use on it with the button on the side of it. I use that on that one gun. I've trained with it. I'm used to it. it, it you know, I can I can function with that. Um, but every other gun that I carry, that I carry on a constant basis, I carry my Surefire TLR um, or something similar to that switch mechanism, all right? And that's what I was saying on this was, you know, my point of view, I would switch that light because that's what I'm used to. He's on it, though. He's got the same light on the guns that he's ca he carries. That is very smart, and that's what I've noticed, very man. Nice. So, uh, big up to you, citizen, to, to an A citizen. Reliable. That's good. All of these guns are reliable. Next purchase. I'm going to do... I, I haven't done individual videos on these. Uh, well, not all of these, but I'll do one. This is my uh, 6R P320 X5 Legion. Um, it's pretty, pretty, pretty amazing fire. Great gun. Great Picture lightning gun. cuts up here. You got the Legion mark, distinguishes the Legion from the regular. Uh, Matter of fact, this is my X5 Legion right here, okay? So we are clear, all right? We are clear. This is my X5 Legion right here, man. And like I said, it is a great gun. I have the Surefire um, 300X on here. Um, so, like I said, it just depends. I, this is only a range gun. I hardly ever carry this gun. I don't carry this gun as much. Um, but it is a range gun. So, this, this light that I have on it, um, it's only when I am teaching. Not training. It's only when I am teaching. So I have trained with this gun a little bit, but not as much. The reason why I don't really carry this gun as much is because this light right here, uh, for some reason, I must have gotten the wrong one or something, but it is it wiggles. It doesn't, it's not as secure on there as I would, I would like it to be. Um, So I was looking at his, and he doesn't have a red dot. He has a red dot on a lot of his. I don't know if he's trying to figure out which kind of red dot, what kind of red dot to put on there. But I would, I would go with a hollow sun. Anyway. Three twenty. That's what I think I'm going to go with a hollow sun. Now, when it comes to my department, I'm gonna order us some some red dots. But I think I'm gonna go with a Trigicon. And the only reason I'm going with the Trigicon is because 
the trigicons are battle tested because you don't know how well the, your officers are going to take care of that. And I don't want anything that may need more attention to it uh, with like a hollow sun or anything like that or the Romeo. So I'm thinking I'm going to go with the trigicon because the trigicon, you just put it on there. You set a date to where you're going to change the, um, the um, actual batteries. And that's it. I've spoken to a lot of different departments and I've spoken to one that had hollow suns and they were having a problem with guys taking care of their guns. I don't want to have to deal with that, you know? All that has to do with the trigger. I mean, <laughs> did you see that? <laughs> look, that's the, so look. <laughs> the reset could be better. It's not as good as the Canik in my opinion, but the, the take up itself, non-existent. It's like a three and a half, four pound trigger. Yeah. Uh, Olight. Um, I mean, I'm I'm concerned that I'm not an Olight ambassador yet since I've got Olight on everything. Bro, don't worry about that. I've tried to get with Olight a couple times. It took me a long time for them to even reach out to me. And uh, I didn't like the terms of the contract. That's why I never agreed to it. Don't worry about it. Olight, they are on some other ish right now. Uh, don't worry about that. I've got Olight after Olight after Olight. They've sent me some free stuff. They have sent me some free stuff. But as far as me being an ambassador, um, I don't. I just don't agree with what they're wanting. And I just, I'm glad I didn't because really I don't have the time to do it now uh, anyway. Just about my, my rifles. Uh, you know, it's just, anyway, uh, these are also, I believe Warren Tactical sights got the blackout sights uh, in the back, uh, fiber optic in the front. Very nice. Um, 21 rounder. Okay, they come with the 18 rounder and 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 the 21 rounder. These aren't base plates, but I did get um, base plates for two of my mags. So. Magwell, yeah, I don't like how it looks, but I keep it on there. 44 ounces, by the way. Yeah. Um, next, another canic. This is the uh, this is the uh, uh, SF Elite, not the SC. I like it. Um, uh, I tell you. Uh, it wasn't an impulse buy. I wanted something that was a little, a little bit bigger than the subcompact and smaller than the regular TP9 SFX. And um, this this fit it. And, and the budget, pff, I mean, this was, I'm, I don't really talk about prices on the channel, but this was super, super affordable. Uh, and because of that, I went ahead and upgraded the trigger. Got an apex trigger in here. You see that? I mean, <laughs> you gotta shoot it to really feel it. Uh, but that's all I did to this. Again, I dropped the O light on it. Um, this comes with 15 round mags. Uh, I went and got extra mags. And again, base plate, fiber optic front sight, blacked out rear sight, Warren Tactical. But, uh, I mean, come on, come on, that's that. Um. Nice, another Canik. I mean, like I said, you can't go wrong with Canik, man. Canics are something that you just cannot go wrong with. I don't have really much to say about it, man. Then you have your uh, Springfield Hellcat. So this is what I've been carrying for the last... Citizen 2A Citizen. Come on, man. Uh, uh, I don't know. Uh, two months only because uh, I just reached a thousand rounds on it um, to check out the uh, you know reliability and it proved itself to be extremely reliable. So this is my new EDC. I dropped this in the waist. You got your 13 round mag plus two uh, 
added on some custom base plates on here. These are from, uh, oh, Hive. These are Hive Technology base pads. Um, actually, these are plus three. I can get 16 in here if you really uh, uh, push it. Get your uh, True Glow sights. I don't know what kind of sights these are, but it resembles the True Glow sights. No, no, no. No, 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 no. These are Trigicon. Let me see. Yeah. My bad. Um, uh, it came with the red. Well, I bought the, the, the I, came, I bought this just like this, right? Well, not just like this. Red dot. It had a red dot on it. I had to switch out the trigger. Apex trigger. Put the... Um, uh, what kind of light? Who is That's this? what I'm trying to see. What kind of... Is that Crimson Crave? Something high or high something grips on it. Um, I just liked it because it, you know, had the Hellcat on there. It was red. It matched the trigger. It matched the base pad. Got the Viridian, um, Viridian. flashlight, uh, weapons light on here. Very nice, very nice package. It's light, lighter than lighter than 26. Definitely lighter than the uh, uh, Canic TP9 uh, SC. I, I I really like it. It's very very shootable. Um, no issues at all. Um, so this is what I will say about the Hellcat. I've I've shot uh I've shot plenty of Hellcats. For one, uh Springfield Springfield striker fire guns, I just do not like them. That's that's the main thing. But I did a comparison between the Hellcat and my 365, and hands down the 365 is a better shooter. Out the box, it is a better shooter, period. When it comes down to a light, uh, a small gun with that kind of capacity. Hands down, the P365 is a better shooter. Um, citizen to a citizen, I don't know if you've actually shot the 365, but try it out. You might like that better than the Hellcat. <clears throat> Another thing is that Viridian, I've done four Vir Viridian weapon lights, and all of them have have just just not been good, good, good weapon lights. I don't know how long you've had that Viridian. But you might want to look into getting something different because uh, I have not had any anything. I don't have anything good to say about Viridian. Uh, I really don't. So just like Sightmark, I don't have anything good to say about Sightmark. Uh, Viridian is on that level, man. So you might want to look into that. I don't. I don't tell anybody that they should not carry a Hellcat. If you like a Hellcat, you like a Hellcat. But what I do tell people is shoot that P365 as well, just to see if you like that better. I don't know what to say. I kind of, I'm not going to say it's my favorite, but um, I'm not not going to say it's my favorite. But very nice. If you're out there looking for a, a, a micro compact or whatever they're calling these things, I, I would recommend the, um, the say Hellcat. Say P365. Um, I've shot the P365 before. And in my opinion, they kind of shoot the same. Um, both need both need a trigger <laughs> a newer trigger cap cap they do not shoot um, the same but as far as weight concealability this is this is it i mean come on you know it's your hand right you know 365 the 365 and the hellcat are the same size um they're they're basically similar guns it's just the recoil impulse on the 365 is a lot lighter than that Hellcat. That's the only thing. I've used the same round, the same grain of round, um, the same magazine size, all that stuff. And both of them are they, they're just the, it, the only thing that takes that 365 further is that recoil impulse. And that's it. Uh, last but not least is the uh, m and Smith & Wesson m &P. This one's real special. I did not purchase this one. This one was gifted to me by a close friend. Well, I can't even call him a friend. He's a brother, brother of mine. Um, he uh, moved to Thailand recently. And obviously you can't take firearms to Thailand. I went down there to help him out. Um, and he gifted this to me. 
So this is, out, out of all my firearms, this is the most special. I've never had an interest in Smith & Wesson. They're not, they're not bad firearms. Um, I've shot them before. I've never shot this one. Um, what I am gonna do to this one, I'm gonna throw a, a, a Apex trigger in here. I'm gonna change out the uh, mag release. I'm gonna add a magwell. And if he ever moves back to the States, um, you know, I'm, I'm gonna gift it back to him. In fact, I'm also gonna change the barrel out, make it a, a threaded barrel for the suppressor and um, change the sights out, put some suppressor height sights on here. Obviously it doesn't have a cut in here. And uh, yeah, but if he ever moves back to the States, you know, when he comes back, I'll be gifting this back to him and it's going to look completely different. In fact, I may do some some custom slide work to it and grip work to it. But um, yeah, this is it. That's my pistol collection. Everybody, thanks for, uh, thanks for checking the channel out. Um, remember to like and subscribe. 97, well now 95% my viewers are not subscribed but you know i definitely see you guys checking out the videos all right so um talking about the smith and wesson all right um you guys know i don't have many smith and wessons the reason why is because i would have to do so much work to get that to be able to shoot that smith and wesson like i shoot a glock out of the box i do not shoot smith and wessons well for some reason i don't know why I know it's the user, not the gun. It is the operator. I get that. And that's everything that I go by. I know that. But I can shoot a Glock and a SIG way better than I shoot a Smith & Wesson. And that's the only reason. Now, I have not gone to the new Smith & Wesson. I know the new Smith & Wesson, new gen Smith & Wessons have a way better trigger than the older Smith & Wessons. And I have not taken one out to the range just because I just have not been interested in any Smith & Wesson ever since. I've shot that m and um, So I need to go ahead and try that out and see how I shoot the new Gen Smith & Wessons with that new trigger they have and go from there, man. So um, talking about his collection, I don't know if he classifies himself as a gun collector or not. I don't know. Um, but if he is a gun collector, let's say he wanted to be a gun collector. It's time, I think it's time to step your game up into the more uh, expensive, more extravagant guns, get a taste of those. I don't know if he has or not, has ever shot anything like that or not. But one of the reasons why I have not got that IWI Masada is because I told myself I am no longer gonna purchase anything under a thousand dollars anymore because you, I, I do believe you get what you pay for. Um, the last gun I, I purchased under that was the uh, Palmetto State, the Palmetto State gun, um, the dagger. Uh, that was the last gun I purchased was the dagger. I'm still doing some things to the dagger. I did a review on the dagger as well. Um, but after I got that dagger, I was like, man, I'm tired of the same old, you know, $500, $600 gun. Uh, the things you get with them, all of them are about the same. You get the same amount of quality with them outside of that canic um and it's just the same old thing because i say that because the most expensive gun i have is a 2200 dollar gun and the, and the most expensive rifle i have is a 3500 dollar rifle uh and the difference in bet between that gun coming out of the box and a 500 dollar gun coming out of the box is there is a night and day difference there is just a night and day difference of the fit finish the quality of the gun, things of that gun. The next gun I am trying to get is that Springfield 1911 DS. That is a $1,500, $1,600 gun MSRP. It's going right now for $2,000. I want that gun so bad. I'm not gonna pay $2,000 for it. I plan on paying around $1,400 to $1,500 for it. Uh, and, and, and that's what I plan on paying for it. But that's my next gun. After that, I do want a custom 2011. I do want a custom 2011 um, and the one I want is about $4,500 and I think I'm going to save up for that. The reason why I say with him, the most expensive gun he has is a $900 gun with that Legion. 
you get that gun for about $8.99, $9.99, somewhere around there. If he wants to go into the collection field, he needs to he needs to step his way up to that fifteen two thousand dollar and then step his way up from there. That's how your collection grows. It's not about how many guns you have when you're a collector. It's not about how many guns you have. It's about the quality of guns you have as a collector. You know what I'm saying? I can have I can say I got a bunch of daggone guns, but if they're all of them are about five hundred dollars, they're about the same kind of gun. You get what I'm saying? So just step that step your collection up man and uh, listen you are citizen to a citizen you're on a great path I, I will say the only gun that i would not have in that collection is that hellcat um or that that, that smith and wesson which that was that was gifted to you uh but that was the only gun that i would that i saw that i probably would not have in my collection um and the only reason is because i haven't gotten it before i stepped my game up to the more more expensive uh guns per se all right guys if you have not yet go to citizen to a citizen link is going to be in the description to his channel subscribe to his channel man show him some love uh this guy is a great guy he has a great channel uh you guys subscribe to his channel man i hope you enjoyed this video make sure you hit the like button make sure if you have not subscribed make sure you subscribe to my channel and y'all know what it is man i'm out